Okay, so the second speaker of the afternoon is Dana Guerrero from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. And he's going to talk about complex DRX structures, invariants, and local description. Well, first of all, thanks for the invitation. Uh, is the title is that it's completed abstraction, invariants, and a local description. So, uh, yes. To record some stuff. So this is the structure of the talk. So I will, be, I will begin with some preliminaries, the motivation, then the invariance, examples, what associated real structure, and the expectancy theorem. So uh, used to recall some definitions. This is the general tangent bundle, which is canonical fading. And the Corandor and brackets. Uh, the structure is just a uh, Lagrangian sub bundle or the generalized tangent bundle so that with a piece of section is closed under the Corandor and brackets. And a complex Dirac structure is a Dirac structure of the complexification of the generalized tangent bundle. When I say complex Dirac structure, it's not holomorphic, just complex. So uh, just recalling how the Dirac structure appears, we begin with. Uh, the structure allows us to make a backward operation. So this is following. We have a map phi from M to N, and we have a Dirac structure on M, is the LM. Uh, we can define a backward operation. We can pull back the Dirac structure on M in the following way. That is under certain regulatory condition. This is again a Dirac structure. So, when we have a Poisson manifold, um, when we have a submanifold of that Poisson manifold, when we restrict the simple defoliation of this Poisson manifold to the submanifold, that is the restriction, we have to restrict also the symplectic structure of the leaf. So we obtain this, and we obtain a, a now this is this two form that is not necessarily symplectic because we can gain kernel. So uh, this is the symplectic structure. It could be generate, could be degenerate. And what we really obtain is just this, the backward image of the graph of the Poisson by vector. This, this is the backward and the reclusion of this, this backward. This is the way how we obtain a uh, Dirac structure from Poisson manifold and submanifold. So we will say, we will do this again, but instead of take Poisson manifold, we take generate complex manifold. So when we have a submanifold of a generalized complex structure, uh, we don't necessarily have that on a submanifold, we don't have a generalized complex structure. You actually have the following given by Weissman. These are the conditions from being for a submanifold to be a generalized complex structure. Uh, we see that the main uh, property is that the N is a direct Poisson. That is a lot to ask. So we want to relax that. So uh, first, we see that there appear some interesting examples of uh, some you know, manifold complex structure that are not generic complex structure. For example, if we take a complex manifold and if we take a co dimension one manifold, then the sub manifold is not a complex manifold, it's a CR structure. Uh, and if we take a symplectic manifold, and if we take a symplectic manifold and a co dimension one manifold, then we don't have a symplectic manifold on this. We don't have a symplectic structure on this manifold. We have this. We, what we actually have is the following that is more general. And when we have a generic complex structure and we have a co dimension one to manifold, then we have this. When this is backward, L is just a complex structure, but what we have now is that this half real index one. That is this. And this real index is constant on the whole menu. So uh, I begin with some definition that is the, the part of the invariance. So I will study uh, the invariance of the, this complex direct structure. So the first one is the real index. That is just, uh, you take the rank of the L intersectional bound. This rank could vary along the manifold for the reason of this N value. Okay, so we have the property. When we have uh, uh, Lagrangian sub bundle or the complexification of the general tangent bundle, so that it has real index R. This is a function, this R. 
Then there exists another n value function, and so that it happens. So there are some restrictions on the manifold that admit a Lagrange sub bando with real index R. So uh, given a Lagrange sub bando, we have to consider uh, this isotropic real distribution. This is just the, the real elements of L. And also this copper or K inherits a pairing from the general tangent bando. We have the following that uh, Lagrange sub bando or the generalized complex bando or the generalized, or the generalized tangent bando with constant real index is equivalent to the choice of a, a dimensional isotropic bundle K and a bundle map given in this way. So that's complex and well, eclectic. Okay. So when we have uh, uh, this Lagrange sub bundle, we want to obtain more real information. So we have first uh, uh, the following distribution, it's a complex distribution. That is just the projection. So uh, we take this delta that are the real elements of E and D. That is the real elements of E plus E bar. You're recalling that when we have a uh, uh, Lagrange sub bundle, we can find a symmetric map epsilon satisfying this. So we define this omega delta, just taking the imaginary part of the epsilon restricted to delta. And uh, well, you're recalling some result of Walteri. And we have that uh, Lagrange sub bundle of the, yeah, this is the complexification of the general bundle, have real index zero, if and only if this D restricted to the points is. The whole tangent band, the whole tangent band, and this omega delta is non degenerate. So, what we have is more, what is more general is the following is the following identity that the dimension of D plus the dimension of the kernel of the omega delta, the points, is a real index. This is point wise. So so this uh, allows to introduce the following, uh, which was the order that is the first term of the previous uh, equation. And also we will define another invariant that is the type, that is just this, the difference of the dimension of e plus bar minus the dimension of e. That is different from the usual type of general complex structure. So what we have is the following, is that on general complex structure, the order is always zero. This definition of state recover the type of general complex structure when the real index is zero, and also the following inequality of the type when the dimension of m is 2m plus r. Also, that the real index uh, and the order are what well, semi-continuous, upper semi-continuous function, and the real index has the same parity. Well, this is well known. Uh, so, also the following proposition is that. Uh, if L has constant order, then the delta is smooth. And also that uh, when we have constant real index, that K that, that I defined previously is a Lie algebraoid whose image of under the anchor map is uh, its current omega delta is integrable. And yes, we'll see uh, in some, after some slides that uh, this delta omega delta is actually a perspective distribution that uh, glue to obtain a real Dirac structure. So now some examples. Uh, first, we begin with regular Dirac structure, just this. Uh, just recalling what is a regular Dirac structure, just a involuntary regular distribution and a two form that is closed on the direction of S. Uh, and then we define L as L S complexification and E I omega C. That's a complicated structure. And the real index is given by this. The order for well, this is the rank of S and the type is zero. And also we will define, uh, this is a new structure, but when it's not new, it's a transverse CR structure. That is just a triple of, <coughs> of two regular distribution. When the first one, this has R, is inside S and well, where R is integrable, and a bundle map 
J from SR to SR. So that's if the J is, is well complex. Yeah, and this property, this, this space is involuted. But Q is the question mark from S to SR. For example, if you take R equal to zero, uh, this is the definition of a CR structure. And when we have, uh, when we have the S equal the whole tangent mando, this that is the definition of a holomorphic, the transverse holomorphic structure. Uh, well, these transverse CR structures are also examples of complex Dirac structure in the following way. We just take that E, uh, the pre image from the question map or the kernel of GC minus I identity, that is the plus I and the model of J. Uh, and we take just L is zero. Since E is involutive, this is a complex Dirac structure. And we have that the real index is the core rank plus the rank of R. And when, when this happens, when the dimension of M is equal to 2N plus R, then the order is the core rank of S and the type is N. So this is, these are the, the two important examples of complex Dirac structure. Um, well, we have a classification uh, that is, uh, it is different from what happened in the general complex structure where we have just a type. Now we have the type and the order. So uh, when we have a, a complex Dirac structure on over a 2n plus r dimensional manifold, if L has order S and type zero, then L is a transformation of a, a regular, Dirac, regular Dirac structure. That might be at that time that the previous example. For this B, that is a transformation, B is not close, but is close on the direction of the D. And when we have order S and type N, we have that L is a transformation of a transversal structure. That is the L is zero. Where well, this B is not necessarily close. For that is a transformation, not a bit transformation. But uh, linearly we obtain something more interesting is that uh, linearly we have a splitting theorem. That is when you have a complex Dirac structure with the real index R and order S, this is basically is isomorphic with a B transformation of a, of a product of a complex Dirac structure, well, defined by a presynthetic structure and a CR structure. And so we have the following table that this table gives all the information that I mentioned before. We have type zero, we have this kind of persimplectic structure. And on type N, we have this kind of CR structure. And in the middle, we have the fleet. So uh, we recall that uh, general complex structure have associated a Poisson by vector in this way. So uh, for complex Dirac structure, we have the following. We take the L hat in the following way of L of delta of omega with omega delta. Then we have that when the, or, when the order is constant, then this, this L hat is a Dirac structure. And if additionally, the real index is equal to its order and both are constant, then this L hat is the graph of a Poisson wave vector. And also we can see that alternatively, we can see this L hat in this way as a projection. These are computations. So, uh, so when we have a regular Dirac structure, the L hat is the same regular Dirac structure. When we have a transverse CR structure, the L hat is just the R plus the annihilator R. And when we have uh, the complexification of a Dirac structure, we have that L hat is the same Dirac structure as we begin. And also, that's the connect with the motivation of the beginning. We have that this L hat operation commute with the backward or the inclusion. We have some many. So, uh, another example that we give is the uh, example of affiliation with generalized complex leaf. So, uh, I will just take a complex Dirac structure with constant real index equal to its order. So, both constant. The real index and the order are equal and are constant. So in this case, this K, this is a set of real elements of R of, of L, is an annihilator of some D. And in this case, the K term or K is just the D plus the star. 
So we can define a bracket on this D plus star in this way. And actually we can follow it. Well, this is when this is not It doesn't make sense. I'm going to follow that the D plus D bar, D star is a current algebra with natural pairing, this bracket, and well, the projection as an angle. Just taking this question map, that is just the restriction. This D star we restrict to D star here. The distribution QL is a having a subbundle of D plus D star, specified with real index zero. So we can take this uh, L with leaf inside the, well, L leaf inside K perf, that is inside the complexification, or well, L leaf inside K perf complexify, that leaf inside the complexification of the general tangent bundle. And then we project by Q to obtain an element that is QA, that is inside D plus start complexification. This element has real index here. What we have is following is that, uh, well, under the condition that uh, this L is a Lagrangian subband, well, so that the L intersonal bar is the nine letter of V, because it's this evolutive, then L is involutive if and only if the QL is involutive. So uh, the information on D plus D star uh, is all that we need. And also, if we have a leaf of the distribution D, then when we restrict the QL to S, you obtain uh, a Lagrange subbundle of the classification of the general tangent bundle of F. And actually, we have more. We have that uh, uh, we have that this, this QL restricted to S admits a general complex structure over S, which is given well, by the uh, by the structure of the L. So for each leaf of D, we have a general complex structure. So we have a foliation with a general complex structure. So well, you're recalling that the the uh, well, the this complex structure we came from D plus D star, were first studied by David Le Blanc under the name of generalized CR structure. He studied that well with that A B current algebra. So I will say nothing about that. Uh, so now uh, I will go to the splitting theorem of this uh, complete local structure. That is the, the, the local structure. So you're recalling uh, a first result given by Bloma with, uh, for Dirac structure. He gave a splitting theorem for Dirac structure that is the following. So we have a, a L Dirac structure and a point on the manifold. And as the manifold containing the point, uh, such that the, the TPN is complement to the uh, image on the Dunker map of the L. Then around the point, uh, there, is, there exists a two form, B, that is closed, so that the L is equivalent uh, to a beta formation of, of a L prime times L omega, where this omega is comes from the precipitatic leaf passing through the point, the precipitatic leaf of the Dirac structure passing through the point, and this L prime is a Dirac uh, structure that is the graph of a Poisson wave vector. And this Poisson wave vector vanish, uh, with a Poisson wave vector defining over N of, the, of this manifold that is a person. And this Poisson wave vector vanish at the point. And this is, the, is uh, similar to what happened in the, you know, the Western splitting theory for Poisson wave vector. When you have a, a Poisson structure and you decompose as a product of a, a singular, a Poisson structure and a regular Poisson structure. The regular Poisson structure is given by the synthetic leaf and the singular is just a Poisson structure that bands at the point. So this is very similar to that. We have a singular part given by the L prime and a regular part given by the L omega. So uh, there is the pretty theory in four in a complex structure. Uh, no. Because who can you right click? Um, so, yes, that's okay. So, uh, for a unit complex structure, we have the following that is very similar. Uh, we have that uh, there is a neighborhood when we have a unit complex structure, 
Then there is an input around the points and a two form that is close such so that uh, L is equivalent to a beta formation of L prime times uh, L i omega. Well, again, this L prime is a singular part that is given by a unit complex structure having a Poisson by vector vanishing at the point. And the L i omega is given by a symplectic structure, by a symplectic structure or relief passing through the point. What we have is a complex, it's a fitting theorem for complex direct structure that is much more, more this way. So, more technical. Uh, so we have a complex direct structure with constant real index R and order S and a point uh, of type K that we consider as manifold of the main, as I mentioned to K plus S plus S. Um, this manifold is M inside M as it's complementary to the presympathetic leaf passing through the point and transversal to the hat. That is this happens. Then there is a neighborhood U of the point and a close real to form, so that the L on U is equivalent to a transformation of the E backward L, this backward with respect to the submanifold, times the L I omega. Well, this I E backward L uh, is a complex structure structure with constant real index S and order S, that is, they are equal. So it has a Poisson by vector. Uh, vanishing at the point. And this Li omega uh, is just uh, the precipitatic structure of the leaf passing to the point of the L hat. So this is the, the fitting theory. And this is a close to form. This is a real beta formation, an honest beta formation. So we decompose again uh, this E back where L is the singular part and the Li omega is the regular part. As a corollary, we have the following. Uh, we have a complex direct structure, and now we have constant real index R and order S. And we have a point of regular type, K, okay, that is around an, a neighborhood, the type is constant. Then there exists a neighborhood that is L respect to the neighborhood is equivalent to, to a transformation, not a bit transformation, of a product of a of a CR structure and the canonical presympathetic leaf, uh, as canonical presympathetic space. Now, uh, well, this uh, uh, omega canonical is, it comes from the R to N minus K plus R minus X. And the kernel of the presympathetic structure have dimension R minus S. And this LDG is a CR structure. As you know, there are no canonical structure in some way. And the beta formation, this information that is not a beta formation is close on the direction of the presympathetic part. That is this. So uh, this is basically say that we have, uh, it's a product of a CR structure and a, and a presympathetic structure. So this is the end. And what this is the reference. This is Thank you. Are there any questions? Could you just go back to the last last slide? I, I missed uh, the last page. Yes. Uh, one previous. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Could you give me a, uh, maybe a, a simple example of this uh, of, of this situation? Let's go that. Uh, well, the simple example, for example, uh, you have uh, a presympathetic structure, you have no cycliting, you have just the term on the other side. That's a more simple example. Perhaps you, you could compare it to the, the case of a generalized complex structure. Well, like the, this recovers, for example, the 
this, the theorem of the Abusaita Moraschen. When you take uh, the real, the R equal to zero and S equal to, well, when R is zero, S is zero. And this recovers the Abusaita uh, the Abusaita exam theorem. This E backward L will be a general uh, complex structure because the index is zero and the order is zero. The real index is zero. Uh, we have a possible vector which is at points. And this E backward L will be, uh, and, uh, the L by omega will be a synthetic structure. That is a cover, Jose Boyanchenko. Perhaps it may also help if you talk about the, like, this, like, in the nice complex structure, you have like the synthetic foliation and the, and the transverse. Yes. Uh, one. So, so now somehow you, you are uh, making this more flexible by allowing like your foliation is not anymore symplectic. Yes. The, no, this is more general. The, the, the foliation is not anymore symplectic, it's presymplectic. So uh, you have more cases. Okay, so the foliation is not anymore symplectic, it's presymplectic, and then also transverse to that, you don't have something necessarily complex or morphy, you have something CR. Okay. Yeah, for example, in your case, yes, you can have uh, a CR. Okay, so this is the problem. Any other questions? Not let's thank the speaker again.